I work in the area of uh, affine algebraic geometry, which is in the interface of algebraic geometry and algebra. So here we study geometric objects, uh, which are obtained as a solutions of some system of polynomial equations and uh, have solved uh, or have contributed to several important problems in the area of affine algebraic geometry, some of which are not so easy to explain in layman's term. So one of the most important problem which I have worked upon is the Zariskis translation problem. I have uh, shown that a certain uh, threefold constructed by T. Asanuma is a counter example to the Zariskis cancellation problem in positive characteristic. And uh, later I developed a theory which was crucial in giving solution to the Zariskis cancellation problem in higher dimensions in positive characteristic. The Zariskis cancellation problem basically asks whether if you have a geometric object and if you look add a dimension to it, if it looks like an affine space, does the geometric object which you have started with is originally is also an affine space. So this uh, problem was taken up in 70s by many mathematicians and uh, like Professor Miyanishi, Fujita, Sugi and Russell, uh, they have developed uh, various theories and finally solved that uh, the cancellation for the affine spaces in dimension 2 is true. So at that time and this Theorem of uh, Miyanishi, Fujita, and Sugi, it was useful in giving solutions to many important problems in affine algebraic geometry. So, thus it was desirable to know whether we can cancel in higher dimensions or not. My solution to the cancellation problem is uh, negative, that uh, it, it basically says that you cannot cancel in higher dimensions. So, it provides a check to mathematicians that uh, we cannot cancel in higher dimensions and prevents us from making mistakes. So, in some sense, uh, it says that uh, cancellation in higher dimension is not allowed in positive characteristic. In uh, characteristic zero, this is still an open problem and very challenging. I came across this problem while reading through a research paper during my PhD days. And, uh, and I also, at that time, Professor Asanuma was about to visit ISI. So I was reading his papers and I came across his example. So I wanted to discuss with him. I told him, sir, we can solve this problem. But he discouraged me in a very kind tone saying that, Nina, this is very difficult and you don't waste time on this. So using this after this, I stopped thinking about it and focused on my PhD thesis. So I have submitted thesis and went to TFR for my postdoc. So in TFR, I got some time to work on it and uh, and finally when I could solve it, uh, I was also nervous whether it is true or wrong, right or wrong. So I shared this, uh, my first transcript with, to, with my professor supervisor, uh, Professor Amartya Kumar Dutta. So he saw, he suggested several changes, made the proof quite readable and then we shared it with Professor Bhatwadekar. Professor Bhatwadekar confirmed that this proof is completely correct. You can share it with others. So, and when I shared it with many people, the experts in my area, they were very happy. They said, uh, some of them even expressed doubts whether it is correct. And uh, they even wrote mails to Professor Bhatwadekar whether this is correct, right or wrong. So, Bhatwadekar sir told them, okay, this proof is completely correct. You can take my words. Apart from solving this cancellation problem in positive characteristic, I also developed some theories around uh, some three folds and which I consider is very important work because it connects uh, various problems in the on affine spaces and uh, give uh, proper insights into those problems. So this theory is being useful and uh, recently we have been using this theory to give some affirmative cases of the abhyankar sarthes epimorphism conjecture. And I'm hopeful that this will keep on having its influence for future research. To researchers, I would like to say that uh, 
hard work and perseverance always pays. So if you are passionate about something, if you want to do research, you people should start early, focus on concept and uh, just carry on your work with full passion. And at the end, it will always pay. For a woman, I would only say that God has made no discrimination in selecting uh, talent. So we are nowhere in uncomparable to men and we can do equally well along with them. Till my BSc days, completing my undergraduate, the only aim was to have a degree of BSc and get some job like some teaching or something. So I had no idea of research in mathematics. So coming here and the teachers here were very kind, very compassionate about teaching, research. I could see the light in their light when they were teaching. So they were teaching with so much of passion and dedication. And I could see how enjoying this field can be. So they introduced me to this world of higher mathematics, the world of research. So my joining ISI was an important uh, turning point. And I am very grateful to ISI for giving me this environment where I can peacefully conduct my research without any disturbance. Balancing professional life with the uh, home, this is sometimes very difficult for a woman, especially bringing up uh, children and taking care of family, which is an extra responsibility which a woman is carrying on their shoulders. But uh, thankfully, with God's grace, I have got a very supportive family and they have kept my research always on a high priority. So with this, uh, I'm able to continue. I don't know whether I'm able to justify my research or my family, but I'm always trying to do my best in both the fields. <laughs> I don't know where I'm, if I would have just one life, whether I would have been much better, I don't know about that. But I am trying my best to keep it a balance. I have gone through biographies of many people. Um, the most important the Professor Amy Noida. She was a woman mathematician in the 1900s. So she had a very short life, but uh, she was a role model. You can read about her. She is so influencing and she did uh, research. We talk about the discrimination between man and woman. It was during those days, even in Europe, women were not allowed to do study mathematics. So she, I heard that she used to attend classes clad in a men's dress and do research. And she did so much uh, great work, so pioneering. Unfortunately, rewarded at a very later stage of their life. She continued doing pioneering work, research, um, till his last breath, but uh, remained unemployed for most of his life. And... So those were very inspiring and uh, she actually is known as the mother of my area, commutative algebra. It's certainly a very big recognition and I'm thankful to the Infosys Science Foundation for considering my work worthy of this award. This uh, signifies the importance of my work, uh, not only to the experts in my area, but to the general mathematical community that this is an important piece of work. So this encourages me a lot to pursue this field further.